Okay, for some fucking reason, my camera has cut off. Once again. Fuck you, camera. Anywho, uh, yeah, I guess I guess I'll just go ahead and make this a two-parter, cause uh, I, uh, I'm not, I don't really. Well, no, actually, I could put it all in one. Who knows? Uh, anywho, so pretty much what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my camera was that, uh, you know, I, I don't care for filler. I don't care for fan fiction. However, I do, I, 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 will, uh, I will tolerate filler to some extent if, in fact, the filler cross-references canon material, or if you have canon material that cross-references the filler, then by that definition, uh, you know, if you, if you do that, then that's filler that I can tolerate. I can, I, um, a perfect example of this would be, um, the third Inuyasha movie, uh, Sword of an Honorable Ruler. That is a filler story. That's not canon at all. However, it could be considered canon if it was back referenced in the actual series because for the most part that whole story is uh it's an origin story so in many ways you might want to consider that uh can't you might want to consider that canon but like i said unless the canon material cross references it you can't consider that canon it, it's still technically filler same thing refers to one piece new world even though it was written by Ichida oda it is still filler why because they haven't back referenced it in the canon material yet um, so, uh, so like I said, you know, uh, that, that's pretty much my stake on that thing. However, Samurai X Reflections will get a pass by me. And the reason for that being is this, because it actually does back reference the canon material. It reflects on it. That's why it's called Reflections. Now, granted, the canon material does not, does not reference Reflections. What I'm saying is... I, it get a pass by me. Why? Because it, it. First off, I don't think it's a bad story. Number one, like like I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people do not like reflections, uh, and there are various reasons for that. Because uh, because of uh, well, shit. I know a lot of people. First off, a lot of people did not like reflections because it didn't have enough action in it. Um, and to those people, I would like to take this opportunity to say, grow the fuck up. Um, because just like I said in my um, favorite hero, favorite villains video, I mean not favorite hero, favorite villains, uh, anime favorites video for Roroni Kenshin, Kenshin at its core is a love story. Um, honestly, all the action in Kenshin was just to pander to teenage boys. So with that said, for all of you who are like, man, I hate reflections because it didn't have all the action in it, man. It's supposed to be Roroni Kenshin. What is this, man? Grow the fuck up. Uh, if you want, if you want that childish shonen anime bullshit, you have my you have my leeway to go and check out the big three. But no, this is Roni Kenshin, and even though it is shonen anime and manga, uh, I will go as far as to say this might be a little bit too sophisticated for you younger cats. So once again, grow the fuck up. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. Now, uh, another kind uh, an, of well. This was pretty much the same criticism that Trust and Betrayal got was the fact that the pacing's a little slow. True, it is. Um, and I will say, in the case of Reflections, the pacing for Reflections is more flaw than feature. In Trust and Betrayal, it's feature. There's a reason why it's the pacing slows down the way it does. In Reflections, it didn't really need to be that way, especially since throughout the entire movie we're getting flashbacks to some of the battles in the Roroni Kenshin series. So the original story that was in the movie itself, I, it, it shouldn't have been paced like that. Um, and then of course, and then like I said, a lot of Roroni Kenshin fans dislike it because it, in a way it kind of rewrites the ending of Roroni Kenshin because we all know the manga ends when uh, Kenshi's still a baby, and yet, you know, we see him turn into this, this, uh, this obnoxious, uh, sort of, uh, headstrong, 
um, rebellious teenager who abandons his family in search of power. But I will say this. Any motherfucker who has the audacity to complain about Kenshi in Reflections and you happen to be a Sasuke fan from Naruto, you are a fucking hypocrite. Because those two characters almost act exactly the same, except the fact that Kenshi isn't emo and Sasuke is. Kenshi is just rebellious. Sasuke is emo. But what I'm saying is... Uh, that the type of mentality that those two characters have, they share that same sense of uh, fuck the establishment, I'm going to do shit on my own type of thing. You know, the rebel without a cause, James Dean whole thing. Um, also, uh, I do want to go ahead and I want to make this comment because someone left a comment in my uh, anime favorites for Roni Kenshin that I really didn't appreciate this. And uh, he was pretty much, you know, he was, he, he was pretty much leaving a, a, a snotty-ass comment about the Roroni Kenshin series. Um, honestly, you don't have to like the series. And, by, and by, no, by no stretch of the imagination am I saying you have to like the series. But what have I always said? You will respect it. Roni Kenshin is one of those anime classics, one of those shonen classics, those shonen pioneers... In, of the industry, you will respect it. it. It's earned the respect, and it will be given. Is that understood? Respect will be paid, or it will be paid in blood. Okay? Uh, and also, um, I do want to make this comment, because when that snobby-ass bastard left that comment in my video, uh, I just kind of wrote it off. Um... Uh, um yeah, and I'm going to sound like a dick. I'm going to sound like a prick saying this. But honestly, anybody who dislikes Roni Kenshin, but you're a fan of the big three, your comment, I mean, your opinion on anime and manga doesn't matter to me to begin with because uh, you already done fucked up there. Um, now, yes, I know this is supposed to be a movie review and I'm not supposed to sit here and be defending the series. But what I'm saying is I don't like that shit. And, uh, yeah, I don't like it. I don't respect it. Um... And all of you hating ass niggas can go and fuck yourself. Now, uh, but with that said, what, um, you know, I, I, I've discussed, um, the, uh, I've discussed some of the flaws of Reflections, but what did Reflections actually do good? Reflections, just like Trust and Betrayal, is animated beautifully. It is, um, I, I believe, I believe they, uh, it is also done, it is also dubbed by, a, uh, ABV Films. Um, they have the same cast. The, the, the writing is, the writing is a little bit more meh, um, and the reason for that being is because it is filler. That, that was a studio original production. It wasn't, it wasn't based off of, uh, anything from the mangaka. Um, so the writing isn't exactly up to, up to snuff. Um, and the dialogue, like I said, along with the writing isn't exactly up to snuff. Um, but all in all. It is a pretty good movie. Is it as good as Trust and Betrayal? No. But it is pretty good. I, I enjoy Reflections much more than uh, than this one, than the, uh, the motion picture. I enjoy it much more than the motion picture. Um, so, uh, so pretty much, uh, I, I'll, ra I'll wrap up these reviews with uh, my final stamp of... Uh, my final rating of these two uh, OVAs. Trust and Betrayal, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, hard 10. This is a great film. Great film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I know that now you can actually get... There's actually... Uh, actually... I think... I think they just came out with Trust and Betrayal on Blu-ray. Um, if memory serves me correctly, because I remember my man Zip, uh, my man Ziploc Gory did a, uh, did a Samurai X Trust and Betrayal review. Um, and I, I, and I also think Esper Review did one too. And I think that was because this has just been released on Blu-ray. Um, if not... I know for a fact, uh, not too long ago, they released the uh, double feature, the double feature DVDs with Trust and Betrayal and Reflections. Um, 
So I highly recommend you all pick those up. Uh, what else? No, nah, I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it for uh, for this review. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me again this week. And as always, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Don't forget uh, about my Facebook page, facebook.com slash otaku symbol. Twitter page, twitter.com slash otaku symbol. Blog TV page, blog tv.com slash otaku symbol. And then, of course, Skype, otaku underscore a symbol. Um, also, I am on, uh, don't forget to check out my collab channel, Rogues Gallery Incorporated, along with my fellow YouTubers, Strap24, Hugo Strange, J Mason uh, 105 and Uncle Maine. Also, uh, I last week, I stepped into the arena, rap battle, against a uh, fellow YouTuber, Escaflona Dante, that is available on Rogues Gallery Inc., uh, Rogues Gallery Incorporated, um, and, and, once again, comment in the comment in that video. Let me know. Let us know who you think won that uh, that battle. Um, my favorite hero, favorite villains videos. Don't forget about those. Those are also on Rogues Gallery Incorporated. Um, what can you expect coming out later this week? Of course, Boardwalk Empire reviews tomorrow night, Monday. I might upload. My review of Batman Year One, another movie review, uh, DC, uh, the, the latest DC animated feature, Batman Year One. Um, I might review, um, I might review that for OAW. In case I don't, I will update you all. Uh, I have, uh, I am now officially a movie reviewer and writer for KillerFilm.com. And the Batman Year One review will be my first re, uh, my first written review for that site. So, like I said, if I don't do a video review for it on OAW, I will update and link you all to my review on KillerFilm.com. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this video up. This has been Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, signing off. And until next time, peace.